A wedding is nothing if not an expression of who a couple really are. And this week's Wedding of the Week, Cassie and Locke, who completely ditched tradition to celebrate their love with a second-hand ceremony featuring treasures they'd collected from their favourite second-hand stores. Welcome, Cassie and Locke New, and welcome. Thanks, Thanks Karen. You really had, uh, you know, second-hand weddings almost, a bit of a cruel thing to say, but you really did it on a budget, but it was beautiful. What was the theme, Cassie? Um, I guess second-hand and just to do things ourselves was how the theme evolved, and it probably took on a bit of a vintage look because that's the sort of things that we like. Mm -hmm. so. We look at these beautiful photographs. So explain with the theme how the vintage took on its own style. What about your dress? Um, well, I really like sort of 50s and 60s styling. Mm -hmm. So I found um, a vintage pattern on Etsy of a sort of a 60s prom dress. And then my mum and I made it together as a bit of a project. Beautiful. So. And of course, lovely suit there. Did you consider that vintage? <laughs> uh, in a way, I, I just like that style. Uh, it does look kind of classic and uh, mm -hmm. nice and simple, not too uh, complicated or flash. But, and you yeah. did a lot of this. It was a you know a pretty good budget. Yeah. Yeah. How much? Um, just under thirteen, was it? Yeah. Thirteen thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. How many people at the wedding? Forty. Mm, yeah. Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Location. How did you choose that? Uh, we looked at probably five to six places, and by the time we got to our six, we were still a bit unsure. And we just knew we wanted like an outdoor sort of place because Cassie really wanted to have it outdoor. And lots of places were outdoor, but it was function centre. Mm. And then we just Googled this um, B and B called Brandon Homestead, mm. and uh, we found it. And it just it, we just knew it was right. Yeah. And yeah. what a lovely feel yeah. in it the was outdoor beautiful. setting. Now, <laughs> when you go and do your table settings, when you've got everybody inside, yep. um, beautiful marquee. How did you arrive at that? Um, the marquee wasn't really planned because it rained for two weeks straight before the wedding oh, and we were going to have it's dinner It's Brisbane, outside. isn't it? It's yeah. Queensland, I know that. Yep. So we booked the marquee about a week and a half before the wedding and bought mm. lots of fairy lights. And but it just... turned out to be beautiful. Yeah, it was. It turned out to be a feature. It was really yeah. nice. Yeah. Sensational. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how did you manage only 40 guests? Vietnamese and Italian, you're telling me. Come on, what's the secret there? There were negotiations. Negotiations. <laughs> but, oh, uh, that's, that's politic. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just really wanted to be surrounded by our close family and friends that were really connected to what the day was about. Oh, and congratulations. That's yeah. the way it ended up. Cassie and Locke, well done. It's nice Thank to see you. It, you know, just that point of difference and terrific. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. More coming.